I must admit, this story was hard for me to cover. I talked with a mom from Riverside on camera and a mom from Fairborn on the phone about the N-word pass. Both of their sons have been shown that license to be racist. Here's one family's take. Just a picture of a baby with watermelon saying he got the N-word pass. Sharon Henderson was shocked when her son Antoine told her his white friend showed him the N-word pass. With the card, he was like, hey, mom, look at this. And I was more upset about the card than him. Before that, that was actually the last straw. Yeah, I told them not to call me that. Even if they thought it was funny, I, I was serious about it. When Sharon moved to Riverside, she was excited that her 15-year-old Antoine would start high school at Stebbins. However, that excitement quickly turned to dismay, starting the very first day. He went to class late uh, with a pass from the guidance counselor, and the teacher told him in front of everyone, he's acting kind of suspicious to me. In fact, that first week, she says her son was called a monkey, taunted in the classroom, in the lunchroom. And there were other issues she made the ninth grade principal aware of, but to no avail. One month later at Stevens, Antoine was presented with the N-word pass. He took a picture of it and showed his mom, who was furious. So I was very surprised when I saw it. He showed me the card. I said, was this online or did somebody actually show you this card? So if eight equals two, that's two. Mom pulled her son out of Stebbins and enrolled him in an online homeschool program. Why? He shouldn't even have to go through that. This is not the 50s or 60s, and we shouldn't have to go into a point where you're that uncomfortable at school. Experts say bullying hurts the student and can hinder the education process. Child psychologist Dr. Max Tokarski from Dayton Children's. Just the perceived experience of racism can be damaging to somebody's psyche. If I feel like it's I'm not in a safe environment and I'm being misjudged and mistreated, then that's already a cognitive and a mental and emotional load that I'm having to deal with. Uh, well, I wish they would have came to the NAACP because we would have dealt with it uh, right there at Stebbins High School. We showed the N-word pass to the president of the NAACP Dayton unit. He called it shocking. And says, official pass to use the N-word. Official pass, uh, looking like a driver's license. Uh, you know, how dare anyone to produce that type of card? Several times we asked for an on-camera interview from Mad River School District leaders. They refused, but sent me this statement that reads in part, the district has a zero tolerance policy against bullying in any form and will not stand for racist bullying. The incident in question happened several months ago and was limited to one event. It went on to say one student was disciplined, although it's unclear how. I did some checking to find out how many instances of bullying districts have already seen this year. Kettering City Schools have seen 30 confirmed cases of bullying this year. Huber Heights has investigated 85 cases. Fairborn reports five cases this year. And Dayton Public Schools have had 59 bullying cases between December of last year and now. The numbers show, although not broken down into a racism category, bullying is a problem in schools across the Miami Valley. Sharon agrees, saying the N-word pass is proof of that. There's no way to really change the mindset of a full student body at one time, but if adults do address it and take corrective action, then at least the children will understand that it's not acceptable. For the I-Team, Letitia Perry, New Center 7.